in 2023 was all about the introduction of generative AI. We, we put together a lot of initiatives. We put together a toolkit uh, to help explain, you know, a little bit about, you know, how generative AI functions and more importantly, you know, what are some of the use case opportunities? And I really think that 2024 is all going to be about how do you leverage generative AI to advance your business, to advance your services uh, that you're providing to your clients. And many of your clients are going to be leveraging uh, Gen, I, Gen AI to advance their, their business value proposition. So, you know, always when a new technology comes out, people want to understand the fundamentals of that technology, you know, talk about large language models and how it works. And then it moves to, okay, what is the use and the impact of this technology? But one thing that we do feel is that the generative AI movement is very, very significant. It's almost as big as, you know, uh, when the internet came of age and cloud computing came of age and really transformed firm services. Yeah, I think if you look at the last 50 years and the impact on our profession from a technology perspective, so I would put three markers down. Yeah. One is the PC with all of the, the capabilities of things like uh, spreadsheets and all those functionalities that occurred essentially in the early 80s. Certainly you had the period of the, of the internet and weave that in with cloud computing, with shared data and information, pretty significant changes there. And now, of course, generative AI. Totally agree. It's not, it's not about each and every one of us understanding what, you know, uh, how generative AI works or, or, or large language models work. You know, a sense of that for cocktail talk is probably yeah, that's right. important. That's right. but, but I think the real substance is, is the application. CPA.com has produced five different examples, right. particularly for smaller firms and mid-sized firms that, to think about it from that standpoint. And that's going to continue to build. Well, those types of applications are going to continue to build the uses of it. It will have some pretty significant trend issues inside our profession. I could speak for hours about how it changes the expectations from an entry point in the profession, how we might think about people progressing in the mm -hmm. profession, what types of services and how they evolve in that space. But I, I think the most important point is our profession sometimes gets stigmatized with not being on the leading edge of these yep. issues. But the reality is, if you go back into the those three points that I just made, we are really, really, really great at being early adapters and using. Think about tax yep. software yep. where the profession, you know, went very quickly from paper and pencil tax returns right, to right. software. And we're going to be a profession that adapts in this process very well. And that's going to produce a lot of opportunity. And it's going to produce a lot of capability inside of our profession for their empl CPA employers and CPA clients to really turn to us to help sort, sort sort through some of this. Well, one thing about generative AI, it's all about the source data. If you think the source data, if you're doing accounting services, if you're providing you know tax information, tax planning, it's really well suited to help um, enable the practitioner to better understand what the best uh, you know, strategies should be for their client. And I think that's, that's what we're going to see. We're going to see the leveraging of these Gen AI models on different sets of source data in, in the profession. One thing that, Barry, we're having at the end of this month, January, is we're going to have an, a, a generative AI symposium in New York. We're bringing the leaders uh, from the firms, leaders from technology companies, leaders from the regulators, all together to kind of discuss, you know, where this movement's going. Always in the early stages, what we try to do is to help frame it, um, understand it from the firm perspective, understand it from the ecosystem, the technology company's perspective, because they're a key enabler for us, as well as the regulators. And we've done the same thing in the past on topics such as cryptocurrencies and ESG right. and cloud implications, which tied into CAS services and now, of course, uh, AI. And um, I think that's a very important part. It's about the profession evolving with each of these mm -hmm. sort of trends that are occurring. Generative AI is going to be on the top of the speed on that, I right. think. It's clearly moving as a technology much quicker than some of the other technologies. It will have some, some very significant applications, as we just said, and implications to the profession. But most of that is going to be on the opportunity side.